friends, I've got a quick as a bunny tip for you today. It is for using the buffalo check background. Um, this doesn't always stamp perfectly the first time, so the way to avoid that or overcome that is to use your Stamparatus. Um, this one, I cut this piece of paper five and a quarter, which is the size that you want it this way, but I just left it the full half sheet of paper lengthwise, the full eight and a half. And then I'm just gonna put it here on my Stamparatus. The, the reason is I can use the magnets this way. Otherwise, I can't really use the magnets to hold down my um, little piece of paper. If, it's, if your paper's too small and you're stamping an entire background, where are you gonna put your magnets? So, what I do on this is just ink it up. I'm using Early Espresso on Cherry Cobbler. I ink and stamp, and I like to give it a lot of pressure. I guess I shouldn't have done that on this, though, to show you how nice this is. Let's see, hopefully I'll have some. Yeah, see, it didn't quite turn out right there. I can re-ink it, or I can just press this down again. Give it a good, give it a little better press. And then some spots you will have to re-ink a lot of times. So let me just do that real quick. I think especially, I think this colored cardstock is really thirsty. So let's see how we got it this time. That's quite a bit better, but let me show you something, what I've done. We have this bronze Stampin' Blend. I used that and colored this in, and you cannot see it. So if you have, you know, just a couple of spots, I'm not gonna, I would re-ink this again and do it one more time, but I'm just showing you for the sake of this video. You have just a couple spots. It's really easy to just fill that in. Thanks for watching.